Hi. Today, I will show you the easy way to publish this Blazor web app into AWS Elastic Beanstalk. But before we start the demo, let us understand a little bit of concept about Beanstalk first. Beanstalk is an environment that will automatically create and configures the AWS resources to run the application. Beanstalk has two environments, web server environment and worker environment. Web server environment uses to run the web application or web API, whereas worker environment uses to run long running workloads or schedule the task. Today, we will create the web server environment in this demo. Here is the architecture for a web server environment. It creates multiple EC2 instances as the web app server to host the applications. It configurates with the security group, auto scaling group, and availability zone, and then connect with the elastic load balancer and Route 53. Before we start the demo, please subscribe and like my video. With your support, I will make more video in the future. First, log in to AWS Portal. Click on the Elastic Beanstalk in the Recently Visited section, or search and type Beanstalk in search box. Select Elastic Beanstalk. Click on Create Application button. Make sure select the Web Server Environment in Environment tier. Type My Web App as the application name. We will create the development environment in this demo. Leave the domain empty. It will assign the name automatically. Select .NET on Windows Server. Leave it by default for Platform Branch and Platform Version dropdowns. Make sure select the sample application in Application Code. Since this is for Dev Environment, we will use our single instance. Single instance means one EC2 instance within an availability zone. Select High Availability for Production Environment. It will have multiple EC2 instances within different availability zones and connect with an elastic load balancer. We will select single instance for our demo and then click on Next. Select the Create and use New Service Role Radio button. It will automatically generate a new role for Beanstalk. We also need to create a new role for EC2 instance profile. Select I am and open a new tab. Click on Roles and create a new role. Make sure select AWS service. Choose EC2 from the service or use case dropdown. Click on Next. Search Beanstalk. And then check the AWS Elastic Beanstalk web tier policy. Click on Next. Enter the new role name AWS Beanstalk EC2 role. Review the summary and click on Create Role button. The role was created successfully. Go back to Beanstalk Configure Service Access page and select the role that we just created in the dropdown. Click on Skip to review. Review everything. And then click on Submit. It will take a couple minutes to set up and config the Beanstalk environment. Let us come back when it finishes. Finally, it already completed. You can see the event log here. It creates the security group, IP, EC2 instance, etc. Let us click on the domain to test it. You can see this sample ASP.NET page open up. Now, let us go to Visual Studio and publish our simple Blazor web app into Beanstalk. Before publishing the application, you have to install AWS Toolkit. If you haven't installed it, you can download it here. Let us go back to Visual Studio, right click on the project file. You will see the publish to AWS menu item if you already install AWS Toolkit. Click on it.
Make sure select Publish to existing target tab and select the beanstalk that we just created. Simple click on Publish button to publish our code. It will take a couple minutes. Let us speed up the process a little bit. Now it published successfully. Let us go back to that ASP.NET page tab and refresh that page. You can see our Blazor web app show up. See how easy to publish the .NET application to AWS. That's all for today. I hope you like my video. Thank you for watching. See you in next video.